last night. It just rained non-stop in this park, I think. Leaving camp at 7.20. Still no sign of the big horn sheep that are supposed to live here. I'm doing the climb towards the pass. Big climb ahead. It's a coming lake. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly. Because there's a bridge here. There's definitely no bridge here. Oh, it's nice and firm snow. Whoa, slippery. Still looking for big horn sheep. Don't see any. I ate my breakfast. It was a Pop-Tart sleeve and uh, some candies. 1.2 miles to the top of the pass. Oh, it's just hanging on. Hello, yellow. Snow patches. There's Isaac, past me, going up the switchbacks, tired, Whew. this lake has icebergs, almost at the top, less than half a mile to go, and the snow patches are all gone. Just about there, and I see Isaac walking around up there, so close. I am now at the top of this pass, stunning, and then to the other side. Ah, nice clear blue sky for this pass. So happy. <laughs> Bye. Sometimes nature is so beautiful. I'm almost crying. I almost cried in the Sierra. I almost cried in Northern Cascades. Actually, I think I did cry in the Northern Cascades, but I'm definitely almost crying here. It's just so so beautiful. Old man, take a look at my life. This is Old Man Lake. I see two hikers coming up. This marmot is really funny. It's Eeyore, who I haven't seen since Chama, New Mexico. I know, it's good to see you. Yep, CDT flip-floppers. Mm. So I was just chatting with Eeyore. He gave me all the CDT hiker intel. Longshanks is in East Glacier. He has a hurt foot, so he was going to REI to find something better. Highlight is somewhere in the park. She started the trail with some uh, people from California. She spent a month uh, in the Sierra. And what else is new? Uh, I guess a whole bunch of trails in the park are now closed due to bear activity. So <laughs> CDT hikers are trying to, having a hard time trying to piece together itineraries in the park. So they're going in and going out at different ranger stations, trying to get different permits and so forth. So um, I, was, I was a bit complainy about my permit stuff, but now I'm very, very thankful to have eight hiking days in a row through the park without starting stopping. Just opened up out of the trees. For some nice mountains. I am just cruising, cruising along on a very nice hiker out for a day hike and he helped me 
take some photos. So I will show you these great photos. It's noon. Looks like a good place for a break. This is a fancy new looking bridge. I'm on a bridge. I'm on a bridge to win the bridge dance. Boop, 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 boop. Yeah. Oh wait, trail goes this way. <laughs> Still lovely. Someone told me that at this place I'm going, you can rent a canoe. Oh, the weather's nice. I'm so doing that this afternoon. That and beer. I'm almost done for today. Then I get a beer. Campground is here. I'm tempted to walk across the river. <laughs> Uh, I'll, I'll go the long way. It's only half a kilometer, but still, it's like, it's right there. Smells like hamburgers down there. Oh, I'm so hungry. Oh, yo, yo, yo. Pizza in the river. Lots of car stuff. Figured it where I was supposed to go. Site 52 and 51 are for the backcountry permit holders. And they have a water faucet here. That's good. Fire pit. And uh, oh, I don't have to hang. They have a box. I have made an explosion of things. Nice and sunny. Everything's getting some air. Monday seven of no shower. There's no showers here. Tomorrow I get a shower. The tent has been set up. I had to evict five wasps that snuck in there when I wasn't looking. Now I go to the camp. It's a long walk to this camp store. It's like a kilometer and a half from where the uh, where the tent site is, which is annoying. I spoke with two very nice ranger ladies and reported my bear sightings and I also mentioned the sign typos that I've seen and I've also mentioned about the horses tearing up the trail by Poy Lake and they told me Poy Lake campground is closed right now because of bear activity. Um, there was a bear in camp the night before um, I was supposed to, I was going to stay there but I went on to Mini Glacier, but I did see a black bear along the Poy Lake Trail. So that's too bad for the CDT hikers. So I have my spicy elk sausage. I also have a variety of condiment packets, but I'm going to try it just plain to see how it tastes. Okay, so this costs five dollars and fifty cents. Mm, it's really good. I actually do enjoy elk. I've been eating those um, elk bar things, jerky things. Elk is a tasty meat. I recommend the spicy elk sausage. You don't even need condiments. It's good just on its own. But I'm gonna add the condiments. So the camp store sells beer. So I picked up a six of beers and it's very appropriate that I have Glacier Golden Ale because I'm inside Glacier. And this is from Lewis and Clark Brewing Company. And it says on here, um, we like to say this beer, much like the views in Glacier National Park, is ah, inspiring. We, I will see if I am inspired by this beer. And I want to give the shout out to Bob. Bob, thank you for this Glacier beer. very light 
light tasting beer. It's 5.2%, uh, so that's that's on the money. And um, mm, I would prefer a little more flavor. Flavor is just a tad flat, but it's all right. Um, I would drink this again, which is good because I got a whole bunch. <laughs> I got a whole bunch to drink. So if I hated it, I would be in trouble. So, Galicia beer. Another beer today, this is Lone Walker Ale, and it's brewed exclusively for Glacier National Park, uh, Flathead Lake Brewing Company, Big Fork, Montana. And this picture here is from this area to medicine. Um, shout out to Tony. Tony, thank you for the beer. Let's try this ale. has a good um, flavor and the good strong mouthfeel. Um, a little bitter aftertaste, but not too bad. I would give this an adequate beer review. Um, it's also not ice cold. I think if it was a little colder, I'd like a little bit more. But um, maybe, yeah, I would drink this guy again, Lone Walker. And I'm a Lone Walker solo hiker. I Another CDT northbound hiker doing the flips. We're snowbows. <laughs> snowbows. <laughs> I've never heard that term before. Someone, uh, wait, here, the guy with the red hair did, said it to me. Oh, Isaac. Yeah. Snowbows. Snowbows. I think it's cool. Oh, it's cute. That's, that's amazing. Snowbows. <laughs> right? Yeah. And then, in a tourist bus, no offense, I didn't put a cafe. So that's where you were still allowed to camp, and then I just knocked out the rim on the 